welcome back to my channel today is christmas eve i'm with my sister hello one of my top things of 2022 that i bought is the shell kit and currently we are pa i'm painting her nails right now i just did mine they're not the greatest i have been practicing for some months now and they're still really bad but i'm going to be doing a recipe later today like this christmas tree croissant recipe thing so i'm going to be showing you guys and i'm just going to bring you guys along my day i know it's been a hot minute since i have filmed but here we are and with maggie she's going to assist me with everything today right yeah i'm doing her nails so we have no grinch energy today she's actually <laughs> the grinch first of all first of all she you guys the grinch. you guys saw her turn off the christmas music and it she, was because and, we're filming, so I can't. I and can't she closed be copyrighted. the front door. It's cold out. It's the one day it's cold out in Florida, and she she's like, close the door. I don't want it to be cold. And it's well, it was oh, actually freezing in here. It's so cold. It's 40 degrees out today, which in Florida that's really cold. And um, we had the door open all day long, so it's time we had to it open close for 30 it. 30 minutes, I think. <laughs> <laughs> 30 minutes max. Well, it's really cold, so I need just a minute to literally defrost my nose. <laughs> she literally has a blanket on and it's so cold. Okay, we're gonna do her nails now. So now you get to pick, would you want my color? Would you want the color that we did the first day we ever did it? The really white, like, plain white this is like um a muted white um or we also have a pink gloss i think i want to go with the white the the one we did in the beginning like the first day yes so i feel like that's closest to like christmas with the snow and everything kit off of Amazon. It's the Sun X5 Max one. It's great. Not sponsored. <laughs> Not sponsored. Maggie, show your beautiful nails. I just finished them. Alexa off. We haven't made our coffee yet today and it's one what time is it it is 1 46 1 46 our clock is 10 minutes about ahead it says 1 56 but we're gonna make coffee because we're so tired we got waffle house this morning with my family well with my mom and stepdad and my brother so now we're going to make some coffee and then i need to start with a christmas recipe oh, that i'm yeah. making and we got a new like sauce that we're gonna put with our coffee. I got the, the white chocolate. Sauce for our coffee. We're just gonna like drizzle in the cup. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. So we're gonna make a white chocolate, obviously, vanilla latte because we also have vanilla syrup. So that's what we're gonna do. I am running low on espresso pods. So we have our cups, and now we are going to. <laughs> there was something in it. Take this off. Yes. She always makes me do stuff like this. Isn't taking those things off literally the worst thing in the entire world? So if you have a little sister to take it off, why wouldn't you just ask her to do it? <laughs> Doesn't this look like egg yolk? <laughs> it looks like eggnog, which, by the way, is disgusting. It's really good. It oh. tastes like it tastes like an egg milkshake. Like a milkshake that's egg flavored. I'm actually a big fan of eggnog. Not a big fan. 
because I literally only had it that one day and I just rotted in the fridge for the rest of the time. But I think I would have, I think I, oh my God, this one's a little bit different than the caramel one. Okay, I put it all around the cup just like Starbucks does. This is really ugly though. It's like flimsier than the caramel one that we have. Because I also have this. There we go. This is what mine looks like. It Whatever. looks worse than mine. It literally looks the same. Okay. <laughs> it looks the same. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my Dulce Nespresso pod. Which, one, which pot are you gonna do? Let's see. Dulce. You're doing the same one as me? Yeah. Copycat. You want me to do a different one? No. <laughs> you can do whichever one, I don't care. being picked up. She's not a lovable cat. She is a lovable cat. She's just not affectionate. I have to tell you guys the funniest story. So, on the couch, Kelsey was sitting on one side, I was sitting on the other, and I was petting Lexi, which is my cat, and I love her with everything in me. And I was like, <laughs> oh my god, I fucked up. What? I didn't put the ice in. Wow, I'm gonna put ice in my cup. <laughs> While the coffee is brewing, I poured this in. Usually I have ice in the cup already, but I've been a little distracted. Back to the story. So I was petting my cat Lexi and I was like, isn't she so sweet? I was like, she's just the sweetest cat because she really is to me. And then, <laughs> gosh, she stole my ice. I was like, isn't she the sweetest cat? And Kelsey was like, no, she's not. And I was like, actually she is though. I was like, she's so sweet. And then Kelsey was like, no, she's not. So then my cat Lexi got up, walked across the couch all the way to the other side, hissed at her, and then came back and laid next to me. And when I tell you, Lexi has never like hissed at me, like I think like three times, like out of like the year and a half that I've had her, like she does not hiss. Like only if you like purposely really annoy her. So it was really funny. Yeah, it was kind of sad. I don't know what I did to deserve that, but... <laughs> it's when you were talking shit. No, it's because... It's because I exiled her from my life. I used to let her sleep with me. She slept with me every single night. She only likes her bed. It's not because she likes my bed. It is. She just loves sleeping with me, and then... Uh, she started... She peed on my bed one time. Or maybe two times. And she just had her fur all over the place and I just couldn't deal with it anymore. So I stopped letting her go into my room and I think she hates me for it now. Even though it's showing that cats don't hold grudges, but it's wrong because she has a very big grudge for me. Okay, so this is my coffee now. Now I'm gonna put some creamer in there. This is the most elite creamer there is. Probably not, but. Why is it my favorite one. Did you press start? I thought I did. Beautiful. I make my coffee a little bit different than Kelsey does. Um, I get a cup and I put the sweet cream foam, or not the sweet cream foam, the sweet cream creamer in it. That's a good amount. Woo! She is sweet. A little sweeter than I like. Um, and then I'll add some like milk. They can't hear you when you're talking over there. I don't know how many times I have to tell you this. <laughs> I'll add some milk. <laughs> Actually, it's because I only took a really big gulp of the uh, white chocolate syrup in the bottom, um, or yeah, the white chocolate stuff. But once I mix it all together, it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's good. Some of this heavy Jesus. cream in it. Yeah. I put some of this heavy cream in it. 
I taught her how to do this. Just to let you know, I taught her. She literally did it. Yes, I did. She, <laughs> <laughs> I, she told me something. She told me about this, and she told me about this. But so the entire thing. But I am the one the who started. Thing. I'm the one who started getting the heavy cream and the um, wrong milk. Wrong. No, it's correct. Remember it's when I was correct. Like, no, wrong. Remember I said you have to get heavy cream, and then you're like, okay, I'll buy us the heavy cream because because heavy cream is ingredient. I'm the one who told you about heavy cream. Mm, I don't think so. Cause I remember at Starbucks, I was like, oh my god, the sweet cream cone tastes so good. I'm like, what do they put in it? Heavy so I looked cream. up the ingredients, and it was heavy cream and two percent milk. I think there's nothing wrong with you. Okay, so whatever. We put all the ingredients in. And then we whip, we whip uh, it around. They don't know what you're doing. They can't see. Your thing is not even in there. You never told them that you were doing vanilla extract. <laughs> you were never doing anything. They have no okay, idea what so you're doing. So we put this in there. 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 And we put 2% milk that I already put back. And then we throfed it. Where's my cup? And then you take the cup. <laughs> 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 and then, and then you pour. And then you pour it in. That's what I do. I think it kind of tastes the same. Like what? Once you mix it all together. It just dirties the dish. I do like this in it though. She likes her sweeter than mine. So it does make it a little bit sweeter. Even though, honestly, if anything was sweeter than this, I think you would die. <laughs> okay, you guys, now I'm going to be making my, whoa, this is blurry. By the way, sorry about the lighting, it's pretty bad. The lighting goes this way, but I can't film a different way because my kitchen's this way. Anyways, I'm now going to be making my Christmas dish. I have to bring a dish to Christmas tomorrow and Usually I'm the person who makes like nothing. I just bring like a fruit tray or a veggie tray or something like that. But today, I'm going all out, you guys. I really am, for, for me. I'm making this Christmas tree. This has spinach dip breadsticks and it's in like the shape of a Christmas tree. I'm really excited, this is what I'm gonna make, but my there's a couple people in my family that doesn't like spinach so i'm going to do a buffalo chicken dip instead of the spinach dip so yeah i'm pretty excited that's what i'm gonna make it could be totally be a fail but we're gonna attempt and we're going to try our best maggie is also gonna be my little sidekick she said she would help me so the first thing you need is this pizza crust um, I'm not making a homemade buffalo chicken dip. Do not come at me. Um, so I got some buffalo chicken dip. <laughs> and then it calls for cheddar cheese, but we both like white cheese better than yellow cheese. So we got cheddar jack. It's like mixed with white and yellow. So I think that's it. <laughs> Let me go on Pinterest and see the first thing that they did. spray it with some oil there's like on Pinterest that's where I got it from okay so first thin pizza crust. okay do you do we have this like sheet pan this white isn't this like baking baking okay you want to do you want to do that instead wait wax paper are you sure it's wax paper yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think this is what it was. Okay. Perfect. Maybe look on Google and see if wax paper is flammable. It says, because of the coating, wax paper is not heat resistant and should not be used in the oven because the paper could melt, smoke, or even something else. Okay, never mind. So I'm going to use... Right. But like, how am I... Am I going to be able to slide it off and put it on something else? Yeah, if it doesn't stick, I think we'll be able to. Okay, put a lot on. Put a lot on. It's not a lot. That was actually a lot. There's so many spots that aren't even like touched by me. They were all touched. That's 
that's a lot. Yeah, I want it to be a lot. I really cannot have it sticking. Oh no, I hope I can it. It's butter. If anything, it'll be good. Mm. Okay. Not actually butter. Okay. All right, so now. And then you open this bad boy up with a spoon. And that's how I was like taught how to do it. You like. What the heck? Let's see. Let me see. Tim say start here. Oh, you have to peel it first, and then you have to open it with the spoon. Peel what? Right here. That's what I just tried. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that little thing. Yeah, right there. And then you open it with a spoon. Oh, baby. Okay. Like she thick. She Come thick, through if you thick. Stay home if you sick. <laughs> I think we need to roll it out. Yeah, we need to roll it out. But is this too small? I think it might be too small because we have to do. This is the biggest one we have. I know, but see, maybe this is what she's just talking about. Maybe she just put it on wax paper to to roll it out. So, so there you go. There you go. Oh. Sweet. Wow, that's cool. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna roll out the dough. Just a little bit. Can I do a little bit of rolling? Yeah, roll the top part. Oh my god. Well, we'll probably have to roll it again. Okay. Okay, so the next step is cutting it into like a little triangle. Oh my god, this is really scary. this into like um like a ball and then re-roll it and then put oh, it yeah. into those two yeah i think that's like a smart idea so let's just take this and we'll like round it up kind of fun playing with it it's like slime okay put it on oh my gosh. <laughs> i can't with you Our pizza crust does not want to roll. Oh my god, maybe this is not turning out good. So it's been a few minutes of trying to do this. A while. But this is our little piece that we're was able to roll out. I don't know. It's the best it's gonna be. So now we're going to put the buffalo chicken dip on top. So I don't know how much I should use. A pretty good amount. I don't like that sound. <laughs> I think that this is good. Really? I think I should add a little more. That's it. Yeah, right over there. I feel like this should be good, right? Let me see. Yeah. Yeah.
it's okay. It's gonna look better, hopefully. Okay, so this is my tree right now. Um, it looks really, really, really ugly. I don't know if I did it right. They probably did spinach dip instead of buffalo chicken dip for a reason because it's like really like liquidy. But um, yeah, we'll get back to you. Hey guys, okay, so it's actually the next day. Today is actually Christmas. So Merry Christmas. I just got back from my mom's and my dad's and I got ready because I'm going to my aunt's house. But it's not really, it's like my grand aunt. It's like my grandma's sister's house. That makes sense. I don't know how to call that. But I just got home. I'm going to finish making my little dish to bring. I did get more food from the store because the tree just like isn't really working out and I do not want to not bring something. So I'm going to make a caprice board as well. I'm going to try to cook the tree longer. Like I think it needs, just needs to be crispier or something, but if it doesn't work out, I mean, I'm still going to bring the caprice board. I got mozzarella and tomatoes and I'm gonna cut them up right now and like drizzle some balsamic glaze on that. I think it'll be good. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna show you guys my living room. It's literally crazy right now. This is all the gifts that me and my sister got. So much stuff. My next video is going to be what I got for Christmas. So look out for that. Got some goodies. But yeah, let's start my little dish. By the way, it's still like super cold. So you know, when this right now, but I do have to change. Let me put a light on. My kitchen is so messy, but we've just been really rushing lately and it's been pretty hectic, but just ignore that. So here's my little tree. Kind of ugly, but I don't know. I'm gonna let it like kind of. I mean, it's been in the fridge, so it's not like frozen or anything. But I'm gonna let it like thaw out a little bit while I preheat the oven, and then like when it's kind of like semi room temperature, I'm gonna put it in because I feel like it's a little cold right now. While that preheats, I'm going to start my caprice board. I have this like cutting board, and I'm just going to use it. I think it's kind of pretty. I don't know why I got the biggest knife ever for this. So I need another cutting board to actually cut the stuff. Right, I got three tomatoes. Hopefully this is enough. I really don't know how thin these should be. Um, I'm really just winging it here. So if it turns out bad again, I'm just not gonna go. I'm just kidding, but it would be really bad. It would be really bad. Okay, I just got the tomatoes. I'm gonna pick up like the best ones because, I don't know, some were thick, some were too thin, some just are too small and don't look right, I don't know. I'm gonna cut the cheese now and then pick my faves. mozzarella and tomato so I kind of just like did something on the side I don't know it's really not hitting but my board wasn't big enough but this is the little candy cane thing how does she look I think it doesn't look that bad I'm happy I at least have something to bring <laughs> well that is about it for this little Christmas vlog I hope you guys enjoyed my little recipes um I guess not really recipes one was a fail and the other was literally just cutting cheese and vegetables but it's fine
fine. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. By the time you see this, you already had your Christmas, so I hope you had a great Christmas. And I will be posting a video on what I got for Christmas in my next video, so do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button to watch my upcoming videos. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!